Hey everybody, it is Dungeon Master Mark. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do a product review. Um, so some of you may have saw on Facebook, I posted the one day, the I Build It uh, 3D model slash, I guess you'd almost say uh, architectural kits or some people might even call them like architectural puzzles. So we actually have a couple different ones here. We have the Rook, the Barbican or Gatehouse, Creaky Timbers, and the Scorpion. So my daughter the other day was nice enough to help me put a couple of these together. And we're going to be doing one tonight after we get done watching the movie. But I wanted to do just a real quick, kind of like a sneak peek to see exactly what all is in the boxes. And give you guys an idea of what all you can make. So I know a couple people before have said how it's very hard for them to find a train maybe for their children. Or for them to take with them while they're traveling, going to conventions. If they're going to be going to you know a couple different game stores, things like that. So this is actually a really, really good Maybe product for you to put into the mix, especially if you have kids. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more pre-assembled, but not quite like 3D printed or anything like that, um, this might be what you're looking for. So, so basically, it is a pre-engineered wood product. Um, they're all snap fit or fiction fit, whatever, whatever you want to particularly call it. Um, they call it pre-painted. I would say it's kind of like a laser etched or stained. As you can see, there is some woodwork, so you could definitely base coat these and then pick out individual stones and do different colors if you want. Um, these are some of the inserts in the windows. You could definitely do those like, like a gold or maybe like a silver color if you wanted to, just make a little bit more detail. And of course, definitely, you can even put like some maybe colored uh, plastic behind the windows if you want to do like a stained glass look. And the real advantage of these, obviously, is they're very, very modular. Um, so all these kind of just come, come apart. So if you want to do a watchtower, you can just... Do it like that and put a miniature inside there. Or, you know, if you're doing like an encounter where there's a dragon attacking the top of like a keep. And like I said, everything kind of just comes apart. So you can move everything, set everything up depending on how you want it for every adventure. Move these aside real quick. And of course these you can actually take, I hope I uh, put them on the right order there. So the inside, you can assemble or disassemble whichever steps you want. I went ahead and did several of these already completely assembled. Um, the woods, or the steps kind of popped up a little bit there, but you can see you actually have a, th 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 I can't talk today, a playable area. So if you're doing an encounter inside a building where people are going upstairs, say they're going up to the next level here. If you want to do the actual combat where people are fighting up or downstairs, you can definitely do that. Um, if you wanted to make an even bigger tower, of course, you can stack these on top and do an even taller tower. Here, say you're doing a wizard tower, you want to put a little bit more like an area where the wizard actually teleports up to the very top. So yeah, looks a very functional, easy to take apart. Like I said, even the little middle section here you can take apart. So if you're doing a combat where, say, uh, they're going from like a door on this side and running through to like another tower. Like I said, you have a playable space inside there. And like I said, you can take some of this stuff apart and mix and match. Now, on the side of these buildings, it might be hard to tell on the... You can kind of see where these little marks are here. You can actually punch these out and you can add different things to the side. So, see if you want to have like the restroom where you got the poop hole. You can just push those right in there and then you have that. Um, if you want to have like a small little balcony outside of a window, you have that. Um, you have a little guard tower. I get my camera to focus here. So you pop those in the side, then you have a little guard tower on the top. Um, for the side, if you want to have like a little merchant stall, or if you want to say like it's a little single horse, uh, little stable on the side. Oops, it's a little off kilter there. But yeah. Or the you, obviously, if you're doing like, like a city campaign, like say they're in the city right here. Do, do, do. I apologize. I should, probably should have set this up a little in a different video, but we're going to do it real quick. So let's just say you're doing a little city encounter. And of course, maybe you didn't want to bring a whole lot of train with you today. Da, 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 da. And let's say this is a market stall on the side over here. I don't knock everything all over. So now you have a really, really quick 
street encounter. Well, maybe they get maybe a a woman gets mugged going down the street. So as you can tell, like I said, uh, this is just one building here. These four pieces. So like I said, if you take the other pieces apart, you've easily got a small city at this point, or I should say, a very, a very, very playable uh, small town encounter, something of that nature. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way for now. Like I said, this one was the the rook. This set here. And like I said, the good thing was these stairs. You can actually use these stairs for uh, if you're playing with like her starts, Dwarven Forge. You want to add some more stairs or something, even if you're doing different encounters. You know, like I said, maybe that goes up to the second floor of the building or all kinds of stuff. So I like the fact that these are modular. You can snap them into the floors. You see the little squares are right down here. You can actually snap them in. You can knock this out if you want to have uh, stairs going down or stairs, or I should say stairs coming down. That way you have stairs going up to the next level. And of course over here we have the squeaky, creaky timbers. Pardon me one second. All right, folks. So here we have the creaky timbers pieces. So of course here we have a little street piece. So it'll be interesting to see if they offer these uh, in surplus. You can buy many of these. That way you can just do street pieces all the way to go around different side of buildings, which would be really, really nice. But here we have kind of like a little uh, step up area where it goes into a base of a building. Which I'll take that off for now. Which when you know, then you now have a nice little dice uh, bowl there. Of course you can weigh that at that point. But to this, like a very, very nice looking playable area. So you have the, the roof section, and of course this comes off, and you have your encounters areas for the inside of the building. And as I said before, if you are doing uh, like a street encounter, let's just say we want to make these into some more buildings. You can obviously see where we can suddenly have a very, very large street grid area for a small town. And just put a couple minis in there for perspective. I forget where it is. And of course these ones you have the buildings, or the doors I should say, the doors do open up and actually move. And of course you can see the windows, and the stair, how it's popped in. It's kind of hard to get this out with one hand. You can actually pop these in or out. There's the one next to it, just to give you an idea. So yeah, like I said, later tonight I'm gonna go ahead and put together the Babakin or the gatehouse. So that'll actually increase the footprint to a little larger as well. So yeah, like I said, if you're definitely interested in picking up some terrain um, that's very, very easy to transport, uh, fairly quick to put together. Um, this set here took me maybe about an hour or so with my daughter helping. Um, this one, probably not quite an hour. And then the other piece that did come with the Rook I wanted to mention was the Ballista. Now, I know someone's going to ask, yes, it does actually fire. But uh, a very, very nice piece if you want to put that on top of a tower. In case the players are maybe fighting a dragon or, you know, some type of flying creature. And, of course, you have this where you can actually transport this and put this uh, basically in top of a roof section if you want to put it, say, inside of this. So you can see how it fits in there. And then, of course, you have more of these. If I can get it to snap in with one handed. But yeah, like I said, that is a very, very quick look. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and put the Kickstarter link because I know these are going to be having a new Kickstarter coming up soon in the description for this. I will also try to put the I Build It Company's uh, link in the description down below as well. And stay tuned, I will also do another video once we have. The other two sets all put together with the Scorpion. So I can do a comparison of all four of those different sets next to each other. Alright folks, thank you for watching and I'll go ahead and get this video uploaded just as quick as we can. Thank you.